card ladder. Along the left-hand menu of the card ladder website and app, there is an option called players. You just click it. You will be brought to a list of every player, every player in card ladder's database, and then you can sort this list in a number of ways. I like to sort it by 24-hour volume which is how much money was spent on that player's cards over the last 24 hours. Now once you're on this list, you can click on any player's name and it will take you to a ladder for that specific player. You'll get a sortable list of all of their cards. You'll see a market snapshot for them that gives you lots of cool statistics, including the total market cap for all that player's cards, which is where that Lucas stat came from. Okay, so Josh, I've touched on a few of the aspects of the player's feature on Card Ladder. There's a ton of useful information in there. So, for example, I was just looking at Tom Brady's page before this episode, and I can see that on March 24th, $17,000 was spent on all of Brady's cards and card ladder. Whereas on February 6th, a little over a month earlier, month and a half earlier, but which was also the day before the Super Bowl, $425,000 was spent on Tom Brady cards. And here's a tip. If you set the graph to a logarithmic scale, it's much easier to look at. So this gives insight into how both supply and demand can ebb and flow for a player across time. Now, Josh, is there anything else that at this time you'd like to highlight or you feel we should highlight about these player ladders on card ladder? Yeah, you're, you're pointing out sort of like the volume and the totals of players. The other thing I like to look at for a player is how do I compare across player relative by percentage? So if I want to say, how is LeBron or Luka or Jordan... Uh, comparing to each other on a daily, monthly, weekly, quarterly scale as their values change. So like what 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 players are hot and not not just on sales volume, but like the, the current value percentage change. And we do that through their index card. So every player in our database, we've selected an index card and it's it's pretty much what you would expect. You know, LeBron, it's the 2003 Topps Chrome PSA 10, Jordan, Fleer, PSA 9, I believe, Luca, Prism Base, PSA 10. So we take that card we track its performance over a single day, a month, and a quarter, and we we sort those in a list, and you can look at what players have moved the most in the last day, the last month, the last quarter, uh, and it's based off that one index card. So we're not trying to aggregate every card and figure out their daily movements because you, know, you need one card to kind of tell the story of all of that in terms of re- in relations. So... That explains that, and if you ever want to know if a card is a is a index card or you know the, the key card chosen for a player, there's a little white star on the card profile for that. So if you search the 2003 Topps Chrome LeBron PSA 10, you'll see a star on that card. Profile.